Rebuilding Arizona, a project eight years in the making, is almost finished. The Sky Train will soon connect the terminal at Sky Harbor to the new rental car center. Mark Thompson gets an inside look at the final stages of the project. Testing currently underway on stage two, the final stage of construction before the Phoenix Sky Train is complete and opens later this summer. It's very exciting. We're excited to provide this convenience to our travelers. Airport spokesperson Heather Shelbrack says the Sky Train will be upgrading from two cars to three and will soon allow passengers to ride from the 44th Street station and terminals directly to the rental car center in just 13 minutes. No more shuttle buses. We'll also be um, reducing roadway traffic on Sky Harbor Boulevard. Those buses won't be pulling up to the terminal any longer, so it should free up cur uh, terminal curb space and reduce traffic as well as reduce emissions. The first stage opened way back in 2013, and it's taken a while for the Sky Train to catch on. Besides a few airport staff, this 2019 rider had an entire car to herself. It seemed like it was only employees of the airport, and that definitely is an odd sight to see. But major improvements since then, including a brand new park and ride station at 24th Street and art installations at every stop. The trains are free, they run 24 hours a day, and they arrive and depart every few minutes. The SkyTrain price tag, $745 million, the money raised from airfares and rental car fees. No local tax dollars or tax dollars are used for this project. Eco-friendly materials used as well. In Phoenix, Mark Thompson, ABC 15, Arizona.